Yes, hello, it's Sonic Thunder. And I have a bunch of stuff for you here today. Sonic Colors. To revealed at E3. It was all revealed on the floor at Sega's booth. And they just put it on their website showing all this stuff. I'm bringing it here to you, making it more convenient. Telling you about it, telling you what I think about each picture. Now, most of the pictures here show him grinding and all running and all this stuff using his uh, new power ups. Which is a great idea, I had to say. Uh, I really feel for Sonic that this is going to be the one that gets him out of the hole. Uh, it's a very minor hole, I think. I think people say that he hasn't been the same since 2D, but I really disagree. Cause Sonic Adventure was good, uh, and other genres like that. I will agree that he went down after Sonic 06. That definitely brought him down and then was kind of revived or put back a little bit by Sonic Unleash. now that game actually showed to me and some other fans that Sonic Team actually cared about Sonic and now with Sonic Colors and Sonic 4 they're actually making it even more now those other mistakes was said in the interview in the Game Informer well no Nintendo Power my bad that those were all experiments to see what they can do with Sonic which is understandable you know they wanted to do other stuff besides run and run and run they wanted more gameplay besides that and they thought of sword which was actually pretty gay but it kind of a little bit worked out but anyway Werehog wasn't that bad and now they're bringing them back to regular old Sonic running, which is the old formula. And it worked. I don't know why they stopped, but it worked. And they're actually bringing one of their best guys back from Sonic 3 and Knuckles to work on two projects, Sonic 4 and Sonic Colors, to get Sonic back to where he was before. He's going to be the new Guardian. His name is um, Izu Izuki or Yazuki, one of those. I actually forgot his name, but I know it's something like that. He is working his best on Sonic Colors with his team. And as you can see from the pictures here, this this is amazing. I mean, from the trailer, like I said in my other video when it was first announced, I said the trailer looks amazing. Now, say if the game looks horrible. See, I'm a big visual person. I have to have good graphics in a game. Not always, but I have to have something to look at. And from these pictures here, looks amazing. It doesn't even look like it's on the Wii. It looks like it's on the 360 with these graphics right here. Sonic Team, for the first time ever, is pushing the graphics on the Wii. Which hasn't been done since Super Smash Bros. Brawl. They are pushing the graphics. Right here, this is the limit, or the well-known limit, I've seen on the Wii. And this is amazing. It looks like Sonic Unleashed for the 360. It looks like it plays like Sonic Unleashed for the 360. And wow. Just by looking at these pictures, you can also see like his uh, new power ups. The drill one actually looks pretty fun to do. It has to be done with shaking of the Wii Remote. And the laser one, you have to go through certain obstacles and courses with the laser. People are saying this might be his boost. I kind of agree, and hoping it, it kind of is, because the boost for the Unleashed for the Wii was horrible, it just looked really bad, and when he boosts, he turned into a ball, not along with that, but the screech of the like blue streaks of the environment, you couldn't see really where you're going, but, I mean, you kind of could, but it didn't look as good as the 360 version, where he just ran, you seen the waves of wind going around him like he was breaking some kind of sound barrier that was amazing but the laser sonic works too uh... in the trailer you will see him bouncing off these uh... robots really fast Eggman drones really fast that might be his boost but i doubt it is because he's bouncing like he's some kind of pinball uh... and then he has a new power up which is announced uh, the alien, I have no idea what he's called, but when 
taken in by Sonic. Turns Sonic into a big fireball. Yes. Huge fireball. So that will take out like, like any robot with ease. You know, you can use these power-ups during the bosses. I know there's a boss with like a Ferris wheel on the uh, resort, tropical resort area zone. And so yeah, you know, Fire Mario, look out, because you know, <laughs> you got Fireball Sonic coming at you. What you gonna do, huh? And there's also a lot more to come. And these power-ups are located in capsules around each stage. So you'll find them like basically like any old power up in any game you'll just find them there so you just see it you go to it ingest it basically you don't really eat it but it just goes inside of you and you just can use it at will and there's a bar on a time limit on how long you can use it so yes this game is very promising looking like Sonic Unleashed very much like Sonic Unleashed daytime stage looks like it's more of a 2D game than it is a 3D game because of 2D pictures that I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lot more than 3D. But really, really have to hand it to Sega. This game looks amazing. You know Sonic 4 is going to be amazing. And that should spring Sonic back up to where he is. Or was in his golden age. Keep in mind, this is the only character, I think, that went from a golden age to a depression. And now going through a recession. Yes, I'm Mr. Sonic Thunder with the update, E3 coverage on Sonic Colors. Thank you. And watch more E3. It's going to be on all this week, you know. Find more about Sonic Colors. I'm still watching it now. See what I can see about Sonic Colors.